Hi, hello. Welcome to the Intuitive Souls podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I am beyond excited that the universe led you here today. If you are an OG and you continue to come back, you continue to press play, you continue to love your inner child, you continue to take the baths, you continue to ground and protect and lean into your intuition a little bit more each day. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your continued support. I am so grateful to have this podcast where I can share what's on my mind, share what's on my heart, and allow the universe to speak through me. If this podcast is helping you, if it's inspiring you, if it's giving you those aha moments, I would be eternally grateful if you can head on over to iTunes and write a review. Those reviews allow me to get this podcast to the ears that need to hear it. And now, more than ever, we can all agree that the world is an absolute shit show. And inspiration, light, positivity, mindset shifting can really help the situation that we're in at the moment. But before you go ahead and click submit, make sure you send a screenshot to me at hello at ericarusso.co, no M, and I would love to send you a free gift just for supporting this podcast. So now that that is all said and done, let's get into the nitty gritty of today's episode. And this is a topic that needs to be a bit more out there. Um, Let me preface this by stating I am not a medical health professional. I I'm a mentor and I know and read energy. So this is coming from my own personal experience. This is coming from working with hundreds of people um, at their, you know, with spiritual readings as well as mentoring and learning a very common theme throughout many different walks of people. Okay. So a very common thing that psychic readers will get or mentors will get or coaches will get or anybody, you know, kind of in this realm will get, even mental health professionals, someone will come and say they feel disconnected. They're feeling low. They're feeling more anxious than usual. Um, They're not feeling connected to their intuition. They're not feeling as good as they should feel. And the biggest thing, Number one is knowing that this is so goddamn common, it's not even funny, okay? It's very, very common. And so many people will just automatically go when they're feeling a certain way, um, you know, if they have heightened anxiety or, you know, they're sad or something along those lines, they will instantly go and label themselves as an anxious person or you know they're they're battling depression and everything and in many cases yes i will definitely agree it is that it is anxiety it is you know a form of depression but in many cases what you are dealing with is your energy being off your chakras being misaligned, your energy not being in balance, which then creates havoc within the chi energy that flows within your energetic system. Okay. So the first thing, if you ever find yourself, find yourself in a predicament where you're like, okay, why am I feeling this way? This isn't really how I want to feel. This is not my normal. Why do I feel a bit more anxious? Why do I feel sad? Why do I feel like my intuition, my connection to source energy is a bit hazy? Okay. The first thing that you need to ask yourself is, are you grounded? Are you protected? And have you cleared your energy? Grounding, protecting, and clearing. If you cannot say yes to every single one of these, you go back to the basics. The first thing that you do is you clear your 
energy. How do you clear your energy? The best thing that you can possibly do is take a sea salt bath. You can also use Himalayan salt bath. And the biggest thing here is staying inside the bath until the bath water is cold and then not taking a shower afterwards because you're going to allow the salt to work its magic. Salt is a natural detoxifier. So it is cleansing your energy. Okay. So we don't want to wash it off. So after your sea salt bath, you want to get out and you want that salt in your pores so it can clear away the, I mean, I guess you can call it, I don't even want to call it negative energy, but the gunky energy that you don't want. Okay. That's the first thing, clear your energy. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to do a chakra balancing meditation. Okay. You need to go in and you need to clear your goddamn chakras. I have a free guided chakra clearing, chakra balancing, whatever I named it on my YouTube that you can use no problem, or you can just do it yourself or use your own. It doesn't matter, but you're clearing your energy and you're clearing your chakras. That's the first thing. After that, you want to ground your energy. Have you been staring at a computer screen for long periods of time? Have you been spending too much time inside? A big thing is seasonal depression, right? So many people struggle with this. I know that I do. And it's usually due to a lack of connection with earth. It is most likely you're feeling these experiences because you're not getting sun and because you are stuck inside. You are not you're not connecting to the natural healing energy of earth. Okay. So you then want to ground yourself. How do you ground yourself? The best way to ground yourself is by going on grass or dirt. It has to be natural. You you know, you can't really do it on concrete. You want to get your feet, your bare feet on earth And do this for at least 10 minutes. If you can lay on Mother Earth, if you can lay somewhere, that's even better. And put your palms face down on the earth. This is called earthing, okay? What you are doing is you are connecting to the auric field of earth that has natural ions that help clear your energetic field and also clears physical ailments, So once you are done grounding, if you cannot get outside, that is completely and totally fine. Put your feet firmly on the ground and envision roots going down to the bottom to the middle of Mother Earth, okay? Allow those roots to grow and grow and grow and grow. And then you're going to ask yourself, am I protected? Okay, I have a free grounding and protection meditation on my YouTube that you can use for free. I think it's less than like 10 minutes. A lot of people like it. A lot of people use it. It's like my most popular one on YouTube. You can go ahead and use it just so you know the whole grounding and protecting the way to do it. And then you don't have to use it anymore if you don't want to. And you're just going to know how to do it. So anyway, then you're going to... So now we're talking about grounding, then you're going to protect yourself. Protect yourself? How do I protect myself? Well, I am a huge advocate for Archangel Michael. If that does not resonate with you, all you have to do is envision a golden bubble around you. You can also call in your angels, your guides, and just say, please protect me. And you can kind of visualize a a, a blanket or something covering you up, whatever resonates with you. It is your intention that matters. I personally love Archangel Michael. I work with him so much that it's it's kind of insane. So if you are feeling called to work with Archangel Michael, all you do is you say, Archangel Michael, please protect me in your white and gold shining light. And you just envision that bubble around you. Okay. So that's the first thing. If you're energetic, if you're feeling off, that's the first and foremost thing. If all of those steps did not help, then talk to a medical professional. Then 
it might be something going on with you, right? You might be going through your own healing and that's okay because guess what? We all have karma and we all have shit to work through. So do your thing, put yourself first. Your mental health is important. With that being said, a big, big reason why people will experience intuition disconnect. And I say intuition disconnect in a broad sense, meaning if your psychic hits aren't as strong, if it's feeling hazy, if it feels like your guides have taken a step back, if you feel like it's your mediumship or connection to spirit or source is just, I don't know, like, I don't want to call it blocked, but like maybe staticky. A big reason is because, and this is coming straight from the source, you need to focus on your personal life. There might be personal matters that require your attention. Okay. A lot of people will spiritually bypass. <laughs> like we talk about it a lot. A lot of people will go very deep into their psychic and mediumship and spiritual growth when their life is a dumpster fire. And your guides will kind of take a step back because you need to learn that you need to sit through shit and you need to work through whatever it is that you have to work through. And they're not going to, I mean, they're still there and everything, but they're going to, they will take a step back. They will definitely take a step back because there are lessons here on the earth plane that you need to focus in on. Okay. And usually once you do focus on your personal healing journey, have the conversations that you really don't want to have, do all of those things, everything gets back to normal as far as your spiritual connection is concerned. But it really is kind of like, I don't want to say pause. What my guide told me a couple of years ago was simply that they don't put you in a waiting room. They kind of put you on standby, if that makes any sense. So if you really, really need your guide's help with something, they will absolutely be there. But they're not going to enable your behavior if it gets too far. If you are literally sitting in shit and you're just trying to connect to spirit and everything like that, when all you have to do is do the things that you don't want to do, right? They'll kind of put you like, the way he showed me was like training wheels, right? He showed me, when he showed me what it was like when they disconnect, it's basically like they put you in a room they're still there. They're still watching over you. You're still very protected and everything like that, but they cannot, you need to focus in on something. You, they, you need to focus in on what it is that is right in front of you. Okay. So another reason why people feel intuition disconnect is what they're consuming. I mean, this is kind of an obvious thing. If you're drinking too much, if you're consuming, you know, drugs or anything of that sort, it's affecting your vibration. Therefore, it's going to be harder for you to connect to your intuition. Your intuition is a pretty fine vibration. It's, it's pretty strong. So you have to really be in a great space energetically in order for it to flow through you free and clearly, okay? If you are using substances such as alcohol and other forms like that, if you're eating like shit, you know, if you're eating processed foods and all of that, it will lower your vibration, I can tell you from my own personal experience, okay, a couple of years ago, I watched a documentary. I don't know if it's still on Netflix. I think it's called Vegucated. And it, I got, I got physically sick. Like, let's just put it that way. I, I have a strong stomach and this documentary got me physically sick to the point where I went vegan for six 
weeks. <laughs> oh God, I don't even want to think about it. I'm getting flashbacks. Anyway, during that time, during that six week time where I literally just ate like a fucking rabbit, my intuition was so strong. My mediumship was crystal clear. I couldn't go that much longer without meat and cheese, but I can say from my own purse, like I said, this is my own personal experience. I'm not telling anybody that you have to become vegan to do this because you don't. It's a personal choice, but it was so clear. Like my, everything was just so clear. It it was just insane. That's those six weeks. And I saw the power of vibration. I saw the power of what we consume and how it affects us at a vibrational level. So check on your diet. You know, another thing that we have to understand too, is it's not just what we ingest, but it's what we are consuming. What are we scrolling through on social media? What TV shows are we watching? That is another form of consumption, right? Everything affects you. Everything affects your energetic state. There's something, so Tony and I, the we love to find a TV show that we both enjoy and we watch it and it's something that we do. It's like our little date night. We get sushi and we watch a TV show, right? We found Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh my God, Thomas Shelby. I love him. Anyway. Peaky Blinders, if you don't know, it's on Netflix. It's a pretty rough TV show. It's pretty intense. It's, there's drugs, there's murder, there's just, it's not a happy, happy show, but it's a fascinating show. It's the the costume design is me. I just love the show, right? I love the characters. I love the whole premise. So I definitely notice after we watch an episode that my energy shifts. My energy does shift, right? I'm not as high vibe as I was, but Thomas Shelby is beautiful and I still love the show. Anyway, things like that, right? Like you, you know, we all love those shows that we shouldn't be watching because we're light workers and everything like that. But fuck that. I say, let's be human. If you enjoy a show that maybe is a little bit morbid, let, you, you wouldn't, if it wasn't for you, you wouldn't enjoy it, right? So put it that way. But watch how it changes you, right? Another show that I got into like last year was euphoria because everyone was talking about it. So I had to watch it and I loved the show. I mean, Zendaya is absolutely brilliant in it, but obviously it's not a happy Winnie the Pooh type situation, (laughs) right? I noticed a shift in my energy when I was watching that show. I noticed a shift in my thinking. I noticed a shift in my mindset shifting. So just being cognizant of this, just being aware that all energy affects you, all energy, the energy that is around you affects you, the people that you are around affect you. So just... (laughs) Just putting it out there. So now let's talk a little bit about blocks, okay? Blocks are very, very common. You know, we got money blocks, worthiness wound blocks, all of the above. Now, I feel like there's like this thing when it comes to blocks where people think that it's like quite literally like a wall of some sort. And that's just not the case. Blocks are simply limiting beliefs that we create. Okay, blocks are simply limiting beliefs or a thought form that we have held on to for a very long time or behavior like self-sabotaging behavior that we have that block us, block us from receiving money, block us from receiving abundance, block us from feeling worthy enough. And here's the thing when it comes to that, we have the ability to change our thoughts we have the ability to shift our belief systems. So any limiting belief that we have, any block that we have is easily 
fixed, right? It does require repetition. And I think that's where people fall short, right? You have to give yourself a little grace and you have to have patience when it comes to rewiring your thought process and rewiring your brain. It's a consistent effort. It's an everyday thing. A lot of people will think that like you say an affirmation once or twice a week and it's going to have miraculous improvements on, you know, your reality. And that's just simply not the case. It really is a lifestyle, right? It's continuous effort. It's continuously saying something until you believe it, until it just becomes who you are. So that's my thoughts on blocks. Okay. So this, I hope that this episode gets to the right people because like I said, this is a very, very common thing. This is a very common thing. And I always, like I said, I always preface this. I am not a medical health professional. I am an energy expert. So this is just, I needed to get this out. I hope that it gets to the right person. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, guys, at Erica W. Russo. There's a ton of incredible content there that I share, as well as intuitive exercises. So be sure to follow me there. Get on my newsletter, all of the above. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you around the internet.